It's a year filled with seasons of glory. Mm. It's going to be a year where your purposeful potential literally becomes your reality. This is going to be a year where well-doing becomes perpetual winning. Mm. This will be a year where personal growth makes it normal to challenge your personal excuses. This year where successful lasting takes place. It's going to equate to great personal and public reward. Tell your neighbor, this is our year for exceptional exploits. When times get tough, will you serve God? So we need you today, church. We need you today, people of God, to clap your hands. We got to put on a garment of praise in the house today. God is still good. He's still mighty. He's still awesome. He's still sovereign. And we got to press through today. We got to press through today. The word tells us that the joy of the Lord, it is our strength. Somebody say the joy of the Lord. The joy of the Lord. The joy of the Lord. It is our strength. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. When the enemy comes in like a flood, the spirit of the Lord is going to lift up a standard. So God is lifting up a standard in the house today. Hallelujah. Receive the choir as we come to you today where I will serve the Lord for the rest of my life. Come on, put those hands together. Give God some glory. For the rest of my life, I'll serve. For the rest of my life, I'll trust. For the rest of my life, I'll trust. He's been so good to me. Oh. For the rest of my life, I serve. For the rest of my life, I trust Him. For the rest of my life, I serve Him. Cause You've been so good. Oh yeah. hands together. Come on. 
Sharon Lowe, amen. Great, great, great fresh thought reflection, amen. We thank God, amen. His sacrifice, our gain, hallelujah. We are still blessed by that word, amen. Thank you, Elder Larice White, amen, for that rich, rich word, amen. As we come on in, amen, and Angel said this morning, come on in, come on in the room, amen. This is the house of the Lord, God's house of prayer. Amen. Breakthrough. Amen. Comfort. Everything you need, it's in the house. Hallelujah. And we thank and praise God for that. Amen. So at this time, if there is someone that's amongst us that's visiting for the very first time, amen, why don't you stand and let us acknowledge you. Amen. If you're visiting the house of Tridestone, amen. Looks like we're all family. Amen. Glory to God. Amen. It's always good to be amongst family. Amen. We invite our streaming audience in. Amen. We welcome you to Tristone Church of Chicago. Amen. Where we are, uh, we say at the stone, it's going on at the stone. Amen. The word is rich. Amen. The music is encouraging, uplifting. We thank God for each of you that are streaming with us. Amen. We look forward to the word blessing you as it will us in Jesus' name. Hallelujah. Bless our God. Amen. We have some birthdays and some anniversaries in the month of April that we want to celebrate. Amen. Beginning with yours truly. Amen. On April the 1st. Amen. That was my birthday. Amen. And then we have Marilyn Watson. That was April the 2nd. Amen. We have our brother Willie Luckett. Amen. He's April the 6th. Amen. Minister Shamiqua Walker is on the 7th. Monet Jackson is on the 7th. Elizabeth Harrison, Auntie Tootie. Amen. She's April the 10th. Stephanie Haynes, okay, is on the 11th. Antoine Heron is on the 13th. Deacon Philip Watson, amen, is on the 14th. We have our own Karen Valentine on the 17th. Messenger Trishana Daniel Gordon is on the 18th. Deacon Linda McKinnis on the 19th. Yolanda Lindsay on the 22nd. Marilyn Meadows on the 25th. And Janine Moss on the 30th. Come on, clap your hand for all of our April birthdays. Amen. Our hospitality ministry does a 
fantastic job, amen, getting all those birthdays in. And then there's some anniversaries that we're celebrating in April. Our own Deacon Laird and Sister Constance Rencher, amen, is on April 4th, amen. And then Minister Steve and LaDonna Bracey on April 15th, 29 years, married, amen. What an awesome time of celebration. We thank God for all of those birthdays and anniversaries. Amen. And then we want to thank all of you that participated and served last week, last Sunday, our Irons Men Resurrection Breakfast. Amen. Come on, men. <laughs> Clap your hands at looms. Amen. Pictures are available. Amen. From that gathering, we will be showing those um, shortly, either today or on next Sunday. Amen. So you can see the great fellowship they had. Resurrection Sunday service with our own, once again, Elder Larice White. Amen. Praise our God. Then we had Walk in the Spirit Bible class with our own Elder Sean McCullen. Come on, give him a hand clap. Amen. And midweek uh, vitamin. Uh, our midweek spiritual vitamin Bible class with Minister Corinne Matthews. Amen. Amen. Friday night, marriage and family ministry was held here. We had a fantastic time. Amen. Great conversation. Amen. With our own elders, Ronnell and Paula Brown. And then on Saturday, our Harvest for the World Food Pantry served 104 families. Come on, you all know how high groceries are. Come on, we bless God for being able to supply that need. And then Christian Education Sabbath School on Saturday, amen, went forth. And we thank God for them. Remember that our Walk in the Spirit Bible class resumes on tomorrow. Amen. The word of the Lord will continue to go forth and bless our hearts. Right now, we want to welcome our praise and worship team to take us further. Amen. And I want you to set your hearts in the posture to receive the word of God right after. Amen. Are we ready? Amen. The word is ready for us. Amen. We want to thank God for what he has prepared. And while he's preparing, amen, he's doing something in our hearts. Anybody know about what the word will do for your heart? Amen. And sometimes when you can't find a word, there's a song. Amen. That will come on. Even the old school says that if I don't have any words, I will just wave my hand. Come on. Anybody know about that? The praise team is ready. If you can only wave your hand. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Today may be one of those days where I can only raise my hand to give him praise and glory. He will interpret that which is in my heart. He will interpret that which is in my spirit. Amen. Come on, let's flow with our praise team and be ready for the word of God. Amen. Receive them as they come. In spite of the challenges that we face in life, we have to be in a position. It's already been said that we pray, we trade in our spirit, the spirit of praise for the spirit of heaviness. And it's great to be in a place that you put your trust in the Lord and know that God makes no mistakes at the end of the day. But let's be honest, we all human, right? We have feelings and emotions. Even Jesus cried, which lets me know that everything is going to be all right. And that's who I have to look to because he's the true role model of a man that came to live and die. They give us power to overcome whatever we challenge, whatever we face. So at the end of the day, I'm going to bless you, Lord. In spite of it all, when my head hung down, and my heart feeling heavy. I'm going to give you praise. I'm going to give you glory. Because yet you still get all the glory in it all. For with my hands lifted up. And my mouth filled with praise. With the heart of thanksgiving. I 
I will bless thee, O oh Lord. With my hands lifted up and my mouth filled with praise. With the heart of thanksgiving, I will bless thee, O oh Lord. Come on, lift up your voice and say, with my hands and my mouth filled with praise with the heart of thanksgiving I will bless thee O Lord come on sing it again with my hands lifted up I dare you to surrender all to Jesus and my mouth filled with praise With the heart of thanksgiving I will bless the old Lord I will praise the old Lord Come on, turn it over to Jesus I will praise With the heart of thanksgiving, I will praise thee, O Lord. I will thank thee, O Lord. I will thank thee, O Lord. I will thank thee, O Lord. Cause with the heart of thanksgiving. I will thank thee, O oh Lord. I will praise thee, O oh Lord. I will praise thee, O oh Lord. Because with the heart of thanksgiving, I will praise thee, O oh Lord. Come on, break the music all over the room. I will praise the Lord. I will praise the Lord. With the heart of thanksgiving, I will praise the Lord. I will worship the Lord. With the heart of thanksgiving. One more time. With the heart of thanksgiving. I will bless the old Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Glory. Father, I need the
Come on, give God some glory. Hallelujah. Come on, bless him, bless him, bless him, bless him. He inhabits. Come on, our praises, our worship. He inhabits it. Come on, worship, worship. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Father, we bless you for being with us. We prepare for your word, God. Amen. He's no stranger to the house. Amen. For many of us, he even represents comfort. Hallelujah. Because he's been with us in times when comfort was needed. Amen. But he's well able to handle the word. Amen. I want you to stretch your hands in this direction. Amen. And begin to pronounce over him, Elder Devery. Amen. Give us the word of God. Elder Devery, give us the word of God. And it is so in Jesus' name. Come on, clap your hands and receive our own Elder Devery Graham. Amen. With our word on today. Come on, stand to your feet and take your neighbor by the hand, if you will, and let's stretch across the aisles and let's leave no one untouched. Come on, everybody stretch. I know the weather is a little gloomy, but it's, it's sunny in here. Oh, you bless me, Duke. Yeah, you just bless me. I just hear, my soul, hold that hand, loves Jesus. Come on, squeeze that hand. My soul hmm, loves Jesus. Come on, open your mouth, church. My, my soul loves Jesus. Open that mouth. Let his name. My soul loves loves Jesus it don't matter what I'm going through but my soul loves loves Jesus my my soul loves Jesus come on open your mouth and say bless bless his name I came out of a sanctified church. Lift your voice and say yes. Come on, everybody. Yeah. Lift your voice and say yeah. Come on, he's fixing it right now. Yes. Oh. Yes, lift your voices, say yes. My soul says, Jesus, 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 Jesus. Yes. Oh, yeah. Healing to your body. Yes. Yeah. One more time and say yes. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah.
And now, Father, in the name of the Lord Jesus, our answer is still yes. Our answer is still yes. Whatever our lot, you've taught us to say, it is well. It's well. It's well with our soul. And knowing you like we already know you, this battle is already fixed. And we believe by faith that all of this is working together for our good. We speak healing in this place now. We speak deliverance in this place now. We speak joy that gives strength right now. We speak peace that surpasses all our understanding right now. And we call this thing done now. We call it done now. We speak it done now. In the name of the Lord Jesus, thank God and amen. Come on, clap your hands and let's give him glory. Come on, clap your hands better than that. I will bless the Lord at all times. And his praises shall forever be in my mouth. While you're standing, allow me to give honor to our pastor, Bishop, wherever you are. Yeah. Saints and friends, we have a phenomenal leader. I'm going to say it again. We have a phenomenal, phenomenal leader. And Bishop, let me say to you, sir, wherever you are, I say this to you privately all the time, from bald head to bald head. <laughs> I am because you already are. And thank you for being a great example of what true leadership is all about. Would you clap your hands for our pastor again? <laughs> to my sister, the Reverend Netra, thank you, Reverend, for always being you. And to all of my beautiful sisters and brothers, I love you guys. Love you with all of my heart. Tristone, I love you. Love you with all my heart. And to my light-skinned family, they tell me what to do. To my light-skinned crew, I love you all. And I do it all for you. Come on, let's go to work. I came to work. Ready? Let's do it. 1 Samuel chapter 24, verses 4 through 10. I plan to do the best that I can, Jackie. 1 Samuel chapter 24, verses 4 through 10. And there you will find these words. The men said unto David, this is the day that the Lord spoke to you when he said to you, I will give your enemy into your hands for you to deal with him as you wish. Then David crept up unnoticed and cut off a corner of Saul's robe and afterwards David's conscience, he was conscience stricken for having cut off a corner of his robe. He said to his men, the Lord forbid that I should do such a thing to my master, the Lord's anointed, or lay my hand on him, for he is the anointed of the Lord. With these words, David sharply rebuked the, his men and did not allow them to assack Saul, and Saul left the cave and went his way. Then David went out of the cave and called out to Saul, my Lord, the king. When Saul looked behind him, David bowed down and prostrated himself with his face to the ground. He said to Saul, why do you listen when men say David is bent on harming you? Hmm. This day you have seen with your own eyes how the Lord delivered you into my hands in the cave. Some urged me to kill you, but I spared you. I said I would not lay my hands on my Lord because he is the Lord's anointed. Why don't you help me do it? Get out of your seat. Go shake hands with three people and tell them whatever you do, don't blow it. Yeah, don't blow it. The future is waiting on you. Don't blow it. You've got greater coming. Don't blow it. 
Yeah, don't blow it. Yeah, don't blow it. Mm -hmm. Don't blow it. It is Sir Winston Churchill who writes, and I quote, there are two things that will define you. Your patience when you have nothing and your attitude when you have everything. And might I suggest that if this is your year to walk exceptional, to talk exceptional, and to live exceptional, then you're going to have to learn how to divorce yourself from unsolicited noise. Let me say that to you again. If this is your year to walk exceptional, to talk exceptional, and to live exceptional, you're going to have to learn how to divorce yourself from unsolicited noise. Better yet, when God has given you a sneak preview of your life's coming attractions, when you have, when he has allowed you to see the trailer of your future, when you know you have both blessings and favor on high demand, look at your neighbor and tell them, don't blow it. That's the wrong neighbor. Look on the other side and tell them, don't blow it. Because I have both blessings and favor on high demand. Graham, what do you mean by don't blow it? You cannot respond in this season how you reacted in last season. Let me say that to you again. You can't respond in this season how you reacted in last season. I know they got on your last nerve and I know they made you want to cuss and fight. But Big Mama said, if I hold my peace and let the Lord fight my battle, then victory shall be mine. And if no one ever told you, allow me to be the first to tell you, victory looks good on you. Would you look down your row and tell your neighbor, victory looks good on you. Come on, pass it down your row and tell your neighbor, victory looks good on you. The next time somebody asks you, what's that you're wearing? Oh, I'm just wearing victory. When you walk into the room and they ask you, what's that I smell? That's the aroma of victory. The next time they see you driving and they ask you, what's that you're driving? I'm just driving victory. The next time they ask you, where is it that you're living? I'm living in victory. Look down your row and tell them again, victory looks good on you. And the reason why victory looks good on me is because both my blessings and my favor is in high demand. That's why it's important that you learn, do not learn the language of the immature or recite the language of the insecure. Let me say that to you again. In this season, Ronell, we cannot learn the language of the immature and then recite the language of the insecure. I don't care how they feel about you. I don't care what they said about you. I don't care what they think about you. My hope is built on nothing less than Jesus' blood and his righteousness. And I dare not trust the sweetest rain, but holy leaning on Jesus' name, on Christ. I wish I had a church in here this morning. On Christ, the solid rock I stand, all other ground. It's sinking, it's sinking sand. That's why my dear friends, you've got to understand, don't allow their insecurities to rob you of your father's limitless security. Your father has limitless security because God has said some things about you and you may not look like it yet. But everything that God said about you is soon to come to pass. Let me say that to you again, that God has said some things about me. And I may not look like it to you yet, but I've always looked like it to him. And it may not seem like it, but it's soon to come to pass. Just lay your hands on your neighbor and just say soon. Yeah, ju just soon. Better yet, I got a testimony for you. Just wait and see. The next time people look at you, just tell them, wait and see. The next time people ask you, what is it to you? Just wait and see because soon is about to catch up with me. If 
But Jeremiah chapter 29 and verse 11 says, For I know the plans that I have towards you. Plans to prosper you and not to harm you. Plans to give you a hope and a future. For Job chapter 8 and verse 7 says, Though your beginning was small, your latter will be greater. Look at somebody and say, it will be greater. When you know who you are, you respond differently. Let me say that to you again. When you know who you are, you respond differently. You see, it's not arrogance, it's assurity. <laughs> Let me say that to you again. It's, it's not arrogance, it's just assurity. When they tell you, who do you think you are? I know who I am. Greater is he. I wish I had a church here. Greater is he that's in me than he that's in the world. Well, 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 who, who, who do you think you are? I know who I am. I am the head and not the tail. I am the lender, mm -hmm, Graham, and not the borrower. I am above and not beneath. I'm blessed in the city. I'm blessed in the field. I'm blessed when I come and I'm blessed when I go. Look at somebody tell them, I know who I am. That's why you respond differently. You see, my blessings, blessings are working for me. Let me say that again. My blessings, blessings are working for me. Better yet, my favor is on overtime. Why don't you look down your row and tell your neighbor, my favor is on overtime. Better, better yet, you didn't go through all of that for nothing. You didn't have to suffer that for nothing. Your favor is on over, over time. That's why you can no longer grieve godly benedictions. Hmm. If you are going to do the exceptional, preachers hear me, you can no longer grieve godly benedictions. Just because they have a history with you does not mean they share destiny with you. <laughs> Dr. Paris, the older I'm becoming, I realize everybody is not meant to advise me. I don't let everybody speak into my life because that can be a trick of the enemy. What they can be doing is distracting you from everything God said about you. You better be careful who you call prayer partner. Because the person you are linked with can be the very person that snatches you right down. Be careful who you take advice from. Because I don't need nobody spooky in my life. I need somebody spiritual in my life. Just because you talk in tongue don't mean you know how to talk in English. I need somebody who knows how to speak to me and see where I'm going and don't remind me of where I've been. Look at somebody and tell them, don't blow it. Everybody is not your friend. Everybody's not rooting for you. Everybody's not rooting for your family. Everybody's not rooting for your children. Everybody's not rooting for your business. And you've got to learn when they don't root, you be your number one cheerleader. I dare you every morning to stand in the mirror and say, I am somebody. I like my weave. I like my cut. I like my, my flip. I like these nails. I like my shoes. I like everything about me. Because God, when you created me, you created an original. Because I'm beautifully and wonderfully made and I can't blow it. Don't high five yourself, know yourself. High five your neighbor and tell your neighbor, don't blow it. You can't blow it. For many of us, your a problem is, let me tell you, because I've been, I've been dealing with this, right? Since Bishop said exceptional exploits, this has been on me. You know what your problem is? Your problem is you worry about what they think too much. 
let me say that to you again because it's not going to fade. You worry about what they think too much. The reason you feel like you've been held back is not because of what they did to you. It's because you held on to it too long. Mm. You've been holding on to what they said to you in the meeting. You've been holding on to what they said to you on the phone chat. And so now you disliking people who God has put in your life to make you better. But look at somebody and tell them, just let it go. Let it, let it go. Let it go. Because your future demands a greater you. Mm. Let me say that to you again. The future demands a greater you. And he can't pull the greater you out when the petty you is unborn. You can't be petty in this season. You can't be petty. Let me say that again. You can't be petty in this season. I'm not talking to the missionaries. Let me talk to the, the center row here. You can't be petty, deacons, in this season. Preachers, you can't be petty in this season because what God has for you, it is for you. Better yet, let me say it to you like this. I don't want your portion. I want my portion. Because everything that God has for me, I want it. Is there anybody here that can testify everything that God has for me? I want it. If he got more peace, I want more peace. If he got more joy, I want more joy. Everything he has for me, I want it. For it is W.E.B. Du Bois who writes, and I quote, one moment of patience may ward off great disaster, but one moment of impatience may ruin your whole life. The problem with so many of us is we're running after what God never said was yours. <laughs> you got to be careful how you run after what God never said yes to. His answer the first time was no. But you became ambitious and came greedy. And you became anxious. And so you ran after what God said, hold up, wait a minute. That ain't you. Because your, thank you, Bishop Gordon, your purpose will fund your future. The moment you start operating in who God said you are is the moment you will start seeing the fruit come up all around you. The problem is the reason you don't see no fruit because many of you are out of purpose. But I dare you to get in purpose and watch purpose work for you. Look at somebody and tell them, get in purpose and watch purpose work for you. For Philippians chapter 4 and verse 6 says, Be anxious for nothing, but in everything by prayer and supplication with thanksgiving, let your requests be known unto God. But this is verse 7. This is what I love, Dr. Davis. And the peace of God, which surpasseth all your understanding, will guard your heart and your mind through Christ Jesus. You see, God told me to tell you just to hang on in there because your turn is coming. Look at somebody and tell them, your turn is coming. That's the wrong neighbor. They chewing gun. Look on the other side and tell them, just hang on in there. Your turn is coming. But there's two things that you need to remember when you know your turn is coming. The first thing you're going to have to do is you're going to have to learn how to keep your hands clean. The second thing that you're going to have to do is keep your heart clean. Let me say that to you again. The first thing is keep your hands clean. Lean over, look at somebody, tell them, please keep your hands to yourself. Let me say this. I love being a father. I love being a daddy. One of my, one of my greatest exploits is them light-skinned babies of mine. I love being a daddy. And I can remember, Donnie, when my son was a little boy, he wanted to learn how to play baseball. And so I got a little t-ball set and, and I wanted to teach him. I didn't know nothing much about baseball, but I wanted to teach my boy how to play baseball. And so the first thing that I taught my son, Jackie, was remember to watch your stance. Mm -hmm. You got to remember also you have to breathe. But the most important thing is you got to remember to keep your eye on the ball. Mm -hmm. So now we about to put my son in what's called t-ball league. 
So my son gets in T-ball league and he's a look cocky. Pray for him, please. He gets in T-ball league and when my son gets in the league, my son is hitting that ball crazy. And so the look coach walks up to my son and the coach says to my son, man, that's really good, little Graham. How did you learn how to hit? He said, my daddy taught me to remember my stands, to always breathe and to always keep my eye on the ball. Come in church. If you are going to do exceptional exploits, if this is going to be your year of exceptional living, then you're going to have to learn how to watch where you stand. You're going to have to always remember to breathe. And whatever you do, keep your eye on the ball. Let me say that to you again. Watch your stand. Look at somebody tell them, watch where you stand. You're going to have to learn how to breathe. Look at somebody and tell them whatever you're going through. Just breathe. But then also, you're going to have to learn how to keep your eye on the ball. I just believe, I just believe that if you can keep your eye on the ball, then the home run that you've been waiting on is yours. This is your season to hit a home run. My prayer for you is that your family hits a home run. My prayer for you is that your business hits a home run. My prayer for you is that your health mm -hmm, hits a home run. My prayer for you is that your children's 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 children, that your babies will always hit a home hit a home run. But you can't look at somebody and say, don't blow it. Not only must you keep your hands clean, but the second thing that I need to leave with you, keep your heart clean. Mm -hmm. Look at somebody and tell them, keep your heart clean. Uh -uh, look at somebody else, tell them, keep your heart clean. You see, I've learned, Sean, I've learned that you don't have to lie on nobody to have what God has for you. You don't have to trick nobody to have what God has for you. You don't have to manipulate nobody to have what God has for you. You don't have to try to tear nobody down to try to build yourself up better yet you'll know just how weak they are when they're pulling others down to build themselves up you don't have to try to trip nobody in order to seat to sit in a seat that is not yours you're gonna have to learn how to love unconditionally because the same God that did it for you is able to do it for them look at somebody tell them I'm so glad that he did And Tri-Stone Church of Chicago, I just want you to know, you've got double coming. Let me say that to you again. Tri-Stone Church, you've got double coming. You see, again, you didn't, got, you didn't go through all of that for nothing. And your turn, your turn is coming. You stayed faithful when you could have walked out. You stayed consistent when you could have been nasty. You kept your head up when you had every right to hold your head down. Your turn is coming. But I need to tell you in order for your turn to come, don't you blow it. Don't you do nothing that will tell God I'm not worthy of the vocation that you've called me to. Your turn is coming. Better yet, allow me to prophesy and tell you your place in line is about to change. Let me say that to you again. Your place in line is about to change. For the scripture teaches us, and the last shall one day be first. And the first shall one day be last. You have waited patiently. You've waited patiently. Your turn is coming. Let me say it like this. Natural, I took the boys out for a play date 
a few weeks ago and when I took them out for a play date they wanted some ice cream and I get real revelation when I'm dealing with children pray for me that's my I get revelation when dealing with kids and so I took them for some ice cream Paula the teacher and when I took them for some ice cream I told them to get in line and don't move but before you get in line look at what you want so all the little boys, they walk over, they look through the glass. I want this, I want that, I want this, I want that. So my phone rings on a business call. I turn my back to answer the phone, and they are roughhousing, hitting each other. They are knocking each other, pushing each other, doing all of that. They get out of line. But this one here, he decides to stand in line and just look at the glass. When I get off the phone, I come over. I said, didn't you all hear me? Didn't I say stay in line? Now go sit down and get out of line because you did not listen. My son walks up and says, I want a double scoop of chocolate. He says, I want a double scoop of chocolate. And he goes and sits and starts eating in front of his friends. When he starts eating in front of his friends, his friends look at him and says, who do you think you are? He said, well, my daddy said, if you just stay in line and if you just keep looking through the glass you can have whatever you want let me get out of here because my daddy said it I'm just going to stay in line look it I'm going to keep looking forward I'm not going to hit nobody I'm not going to push nobody I'm not going to lie on nobody I'm not going to manipulate nobody I'm not going to misuse nobody I'm just going to stay focused on what my daddy said why don't you lean over look at your neighbor and say my daddy said it and because my daddy said I can have it better yet my daddy is rich in houses and land my daddy holds the wall in his hand now I'm to my daddy who is able to do exceedingly and abundantly above all that I can ask or ever think. Look at somebody and tell them my daddy said it. Stand to your feet. My daddy said it. My daddy said it. All week long, my daddy said it. When you go to the doctor, and the doctor says, I can't tell you what this is, your response is, because my daddy said he was wounded for my transgressions. He was bruised for my iniquity. The chastisement of my peace is upon him. And with his stripes, I'm already healed. When you go looking for that new house and you ain't got two nickels to rub together and you know your credit is jacked up from the flow up, my daddy said it. And because my daddy said it, it's already mine. When you're looking for a new job, when you're looking for that new job, because that old boss has been just the devil. Walk in there. Good morning, how are you? My daddy said I'm the vice president. Please stand still. Because my daddy said it. Because promotion comes not from the north, south, east, or west, but God puts up one. He takes down another. Stop trying to prove yourself. Did you hear what I just told you? Stop trying to prove yourself. You belong to God. Stop trying to validate yourself. Because I found out that some people will never like you. It's not that you did nothing to them. You did not say nothing about them. But they will never like you. Keep your heart clean. Don't participate in bad conversations. Don't participate in ridicule of others. You be the bigger and walk away. What's your problem? I got better coming. Why you don't want to talk? I've got better coming. 
because victory belongs to me. I want to see you blessed like never before. I want to see your families blessed like never before. I want to see your homes blessed like never before. This is a blessed church. You are a blessed people. You are a blessed people. But we can't blow it. We've got greater coming. Do something for me. Take one neighbor by both of their hands. Join two hands with your neighbor. Two hands. Don't worry about no COVID you sat next to him. And I want you to start praying for your neighbor. I want you to help pray the weight off of them. There are some people in this house, you've been carrying weights for years. You've suffered loss and you put on a mask and you got dressed up and act like it was okay and it was not okay. You've been carrying hurt for years. You've been carrying pain for years. You've come serving hurt. You've come serving broken. The divorce didn't kill you. Yeah, the divorce didn't kill you. It made you better. That sickness only made you better. Yeah, it made you better. It helped to focus you. It gave you a greater compassion. A greater empathy for others. Yeah, it made you better. So come on, squeeze that neighbor's hand. You lost your child, but you didn't lose your mind. You lost that relationship, but you didn't lose your mind. They broke your heart, but he kept your heart intact. Come on, open your mouth and pray out loud for your neighbor. Pray out loud for them. Pray out loud for their children. Pray out loud for their families. Pray out loud for their business. Lord, bless their business. Rodessa, give them new deals that will blow their mind. Give them new deals, exceptional deals in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Come on, pray, pray. We bind the spirit of suicide right now. We bind the spirit of suicide. We bind the spirit of depression. We bind the spirit of anxiety. We bind the spirit of anxiety. We bind the spirit of addiction. We bind the spirit of addiction, the spirit of drug addiction, the spirit of liquor addiction. We speak to addiction right now. We speak to sexual immoralities right now. In the name of the Lord Jesus, take your hand off our children. Take your hands off my babies. My babies will never be confused. My family will never be confused because we're covered by the blood. We're covered by blood. We're covered by the blood. In the name of Jesus. Come on, pray for them, saints. Pray for Jesus said, my house shall be called the house of prayer. Pray for them, saints. Pray for them. Pray for your children. Pray for your family. Now, if you know that he is a healer, if you know that he is a redeemer, come on, clap your hands and open up your mouth. Come on, you could do better than that. Clap your hands. Now, I dare you to throw your arms around three people and tell them, my daddy said so, my daddy. My daddy said so. Yeah, my daddy said so. This is going to be my best.
best year because my daddy said so. My family's going to a whole nother level because my daddy said so. Your heart will always be healed because your daddy said so. My daddy. My daddy said so. Listen, there's somebody in this house. There's somebody in this house who you want to make Jesus your choice. Everybody look up at me. It doesn't matter who you are. It does not matter where you've been. Jesus, he loves you. Let me say it to you again. Jesus, he loves you. And you don't have to be perfect. None of us are. You don't have to have it all together. None of us do. But I dare you to come right now. Come and make Jesus your choice. If you want to be saved, come right now. Our pastor has taught us over the years that life without Christ is voluntary slavery. Wherever you are, come right now. Come right now. If you want somebody to walk with you, there's elders, there's ministers. Better yet, there's your neighbor. They'll walk with you. Come on. From wherever you are. Wherever you are, come on. Because you don't have to be embarrassed. Come from wherever you are. I lift my hand. Look at the person next to you and say, do you know Jesus? Come on, look at him and tell him, do you know Jesus? Come on, look at him and tell him, do you know Jesus? If you don't know him, allow me to introduce you to him. Come on, allow me to introduce you to him. If there's somebody in this house you need prayer, we have elders on the outer skirts who would love to pray for you. If there's anyone who needs prayer, we have elders that are waiting, ministers who are waiting to pray for you. Let's go to the vamp, Duke. I love you, Jesus. I love you, Jesus. I love you, Jesus. I worship. I worship Come on, lift that hand, church. Just want to tell you. Lord. Lord, I love you more than anything. Come on, lift those hands, church. Lift those hands. Tell them, I love you, Jesus. I love you, Jesus. Yeah. I worship. I worship This is going to be our greatest year. Don't blow it. Lord, I love you. Three parts, everybody. I love you, Jesus. I love you, Jesus. I worship. I worship and adore you. Just want to tell you. Just want to tell you. Lord, I love you more than anything. Come on. Come on. I love you. Jesus. I love you, Jesus. I worship and adore you. Just want to tell you. Lord, I love you more than anything. Come on, come on, come on. Come on. I, I love you.
I just heard the spirit of the Lord say every young person in this building every young person in this building under the age of 35 come into this aisle here every young person under the age of 35 to this aisle to this aisle Dr. Paris, Tracy, come with me. Dr. Paris, Tracy. Come on, Natra. Look at me. Look at me. Look at me. My career, I own a funeral home. Me, my son, and my daughter own a funeral home. I'm burying young people every week. And it's heavy on me a lot of times. But I speak over your life that you won't die prematurely. You won't be stressed out. You won't be overwhelmed. You won't be depressed. You're not going to have to smoke weed to cope. You're not going to be sexually immature and impure. You're going to be the light in the tunnel that others will be able to see you because they see the grace of God that's on your life. I speak prosperity over every last one of you. I speak mental prosperity. I speak physical prosperity. I speak financial prosperity. In the name of the Lord Jesus over each of you, your minds are free. Your bodies are free. You will not be an emotional disaster. You will know how to communicate in the marketplace as well as in the church. I speak a whole you over you. I speak a whole you over you. I speak a whole you over you. You will not compromise. You will stand on everything that your parents taught you. You will stand on everything, the doctrine that the Lord has put inside of you. You will not be weak. You will not be watered down. You will be strong. Even when they don't like it, stand strong. Stand strong. These are my sister elders. I'm going to have them to take some oil on their hands. Take oil on their hands. Come here, where's Ronell? Come over here, Ronell. Where are my sisters? Give them all oil. Because the scripture teaches us these kind only come out by fasting and praying. And it, it, hold on, Larice. I want my brothers and my sisters when you come down each, each either way, I need them to lay their hands on you because we're believing God for you together. We are believing God for you together. Let me say that again. We are believing God for you together because we are in this together. But you can't blow it. Don't blow it. Your future has already be, been set because your daddy said so. Don't blow it. Come for where? Come on. Come forward. Let my, let my brothers and sisters take you. Come on. Walk this way. Come on. Hatavash.
Come on, get on your feet and throw your hands up and say, Holy Spirit. Come on. Open your mouth, church. If it's not for you, do it for your children. Sin. Holy Spirit. Sin, sin, sin. Holy Spirit. Come on, Holy Spirit. Oh, sin your power, sin. Come on, sin, sin, sin. Come on, somebody's child is being released today. Come on. No more depression, no more anxiety, no more addiction. Holy Spirit, send your anointing, send your anointing. No early deaths, no early deaths. No premature killings. Holy Spirit. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Holy. Your children will be saved. Oh. Send your anointing. Yeah. Oh, oh. Fall down, fall down. Fall. Fall down, fall down. Fall down, fall down. One more time. If you have a prayer language, open your mouth and pray in the Holy Ghost now. If you pray in the Holy Ghost, open your mouth and pray in the Holy Ghost. Come on, pray in the Holy Ghost. Come on, open up your mouth. If you pray in the understanding, pray in the understanding now. Lord, fill us again with the Holy Ghost. Lord, fill us again with the Holy Ghost. Lord, fill us again. Baptize us anew with the baptism of the Holy Ghost. Out of your belly shall flow rivers of living water. Fill us until we won't no more. In the name of Jesus. Everybody stretch your hands to that balcony area because those are two hurting mothers. Two mothers who've been praying for their children. Nobody knows the burden of a mother. Nobody knows the pain of a mother. I've had to carry them, now I have to bury them. Stretch your hands up there and pray. If you're a mother, pray for those mothers. If you're a father, pray for those mothers. Because the scripture tells us when our heart is overwhelmed, lead me to the rock. That's higher than us. If we can't do nothing for, if we can't do no, nothing else, we should be able to pray for each other. If we can't do nothing else, 
we've got to learn how to pray for each other now open your mouth and say done come on open your mouth and say done come on one more time open your mouth and say done now clap your hands and give him glory I'm out of time listen I pray that the word blessed you it is our giving time come on clap your hands it's our giving time come on you could do better than that it's our giving time Let me say this. Let me say this. Tithing works. Let me say it to you again. Tithing works. I need everybody. I need everybody to get the best tithe and offering in your hand. I'm blessed not because I'm perfect. I'm blessed because I sow. I'm blessed because I sow. I'm blessed because I put God first. I put him first. You've got to put him first. Look at somebody tell them, you got to put him first. I need everybody in this house to get a gift in your hand. Sow where you want to go and sow how you want to live. If you know he has blessed you, tithe. If you know he has been good to you, tithe. There are five ways to give. It is on our screen for you. You can give in person or mail. You could text 54244 TCC give or text the letters TCC to 71441 or you can give online at www dot tristone church of chicago dot com let me say it again you can give in person or by mail you could text five four two four four to tcc give you could text the letters tcc to seven one four four one or you can give online at www dot tristone church of chicago dot com and for those of you who would like to use your credit card to swipe with giving you can go right back to my right your left there in the administrative office and we would love to serve you there once you have your envelope in your hand would you please stand everybody would you please stand everybody please stand take something into your hand take something into your hand everybody standing Now, Father, I thank you for these givers. Take your gift in your hand. Lift your gift high. Because I speak no lack over your house. No lack. No lack. Now, God, bless these your givers. Bless their families. Bless their businesses. Keep them in perfect peace. Even as they give on today. In the name of Jesus, we pray. Thank God and amen. You are now under the direction of the ushers. Come with a smile on your face because I'm about to give my way to where I'm going. Come on with a smile. Come on, praise team.
Praise the Lord. Amen. If you were blessed by that word, amen. Come on, wave your hand. Hallelujah. We were blessed. Amen. By Elder Devery. Amen. I want you to get a good seed in your hand. Amen. To sow to the man of God. And when you have that seed, amen, you can come on and just sow from wherever you are. Amen. We bless God. Amen. Because he gives seed to the sower.